Hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to a really, really scary area here in Fallout London. We're in a, a tunnel. The name of the tunnel is Greenwich Foot Tunnel South. And we're trying to cross this tunnel to get over here to where we're going to meet a vet in Millwall. And man, I have gotten myself into some trouble here. You can see that I've got a lot of rads going on. Uh, my health isn't so great. This place is terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, we died down here in the last episode, and we seem to come up against a dead end, but I'm pretty sure I know what needs to be done. And it involves swimming. And it's not going to be fun. Nope. It's not going to be fun. Uh, as far as cooking stuff, I think I tried some cook to cook some stuff in the last episode. There's nothing for us to cook here. But I really could use some... Something to get rid of these rads. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into our aid. We're going to go ahead and uh, take some rad away. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll wait to take this stuff before we go in the water. So we're going to make our way back down here. Where is that electricity that was zapping us in the last episode? Okay, you hear it. Some electricity down here. I mean, this place is just nasty. Just terrible. Last time I plopped down there, and that didn't help at all because there's those radioactive barrels down there, so... I think I just need to run past the electricity. If you time it right, you can do just that there. So I got past the electricity, but now we're down here in the water. And I believe what I need to do is run there into that tunnel. And then it dead ends, but I think we could swim underneath of it. Although I feel like I tried that, but by the time I got there, I'd been hit by some some nasties. I can't remember whether I've killed off the nasties or not. Hopefully I have. But we're going to go ahead and take some rad away to get rid of those rads. Then we're going to take some rad X. Um, boy, that didn't even get rid of all the rads. We're going to um, eat some food to heal ourselves. I mean, this blood pack here will give us quite a bit of health. Okay, that'll help quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and take some Rad X. And then I'm going to hit F5. I should have done that before, but whatever. And then we're going to go for it. Okay, we're in. Going forward here. Okay, it looks like I have killed off the enemies that were down here. And then the water gets deep. And I'm just going to swim forward. And hope. Oh gosh, I'm not moving forward anymore. What happened? What happened? Um... Okay. Whew, I made it through. Or I turned around and came back. No, I'm still heading north. Okay, we're facing north. So I think I made it through the clear the 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 the, the blockage there. Now I'm going to hit a 5 again, man. Vats isn't picking up any enemies. I, I just... Wow. It's just amazing how dark they've made this place. Oh, I don't like this music at all. It's scary. Oh, gosh. This music is horrifying. Vats still isn't picking anything up. 
Oh gosh, this music is terrible. What have we gotten ourselves into? I'm just taking a few steps, checking vats, taking a few steps, checking vats. That is my MO right here. I can't even see the ground, it's so dark. Oh, it's getting deep again, doggone it. The rads are bad. Bad, bad rads. We're getting close to our destiny. Whoa, what? Oh no, what happened? Oh no. Oh. Okay, a little scripted event there. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm not sure. Drowned ghoul. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's this zero business? Why do I have a zero percent chance to hit? Am I shooting him or not? Okay, I am shooting him. Oh gosh, there's several of them down here. Reload. Okay, I'm dead. I, how the heck am I supposed to survive that? That's just annoying. Yeah, that's that's too much, man. That's too much. I, I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to survive that. Okay, so is th this is before... Yep, this is all the way back to where I saved it. Well, I know I could just run forward freely now. Until the... Uh, Whatever happens, the some kind of explosion or something happens, and a bunch of water comes my way. But, I mean, I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to take on these ghouls. Gee whiz. Yeah, I can't even move right now. Totally scripted. We get a big wall of water coming at us, and then... Got some ghouls right on my ass. So, not much of a chance to hit here. Uh, I really ugh, don't like the uh, only 15% chance to hit here. I don't. Okay, hit him. Now I'm in the water. Okay, I'm just gonna try to run past these guys. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay. No idea whether I'm getting past them or not. Uh. Okay, we found some stairs. This is good. Oh, I don't know what this crap is, but we're just going to keep on trucking. Danger, indeed. Danger, indeed. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it at all. Uh, We're going to go ahead and leave this place. We're going to leave this place. I will come back and explore it. But right now, we're going to get the hell out of here. And hope that it's daylight outside. Gosh, I hope it's daylight. It's been so dark. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, um, I guess the lesson to be learned there. And by the way, what is this a picture of we're looking at? I see maybe a face in the kind of the upper left-hand corner and then some kind of, not sure what's right in the center of us here, center of the screen. But anyway, uh, I think the lesson to be learned there was run away. I don't have the armor or the firepower to take on that many ghouls that quickly. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we're gonna crouch a little bit here. We're hidden. We've leveled up, which is just great. Oh, son of a... 
great. So much for being hidden. I guess he came out of that door there. Guess. We killed him. Get it four tickets off of him. So yeah, I leveled up. I just I just don't know what to do with my leveling up. I just don't. You know, we've got three perks. I mean, strength is always a good thing, right? It's always good to be able to carry more stuff. So, I mean, I'm tempted to just go into strength, but if I'm going to rely on guns, I mean, maybe I should get some more perception that helps weapon accuracy and vats. That's certainly something that's helpful. Uh, let's see here. Endurance is good. Charisma. Well, intelligence. Um, intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity and affects the number of experience points earned. Let's do intelligence. That'll help us level up faster. Okay. And then I'm going to do perception because I want better accuracy in vats. I'm going to save that last, that last thing for if I ever find myself in a situation where I was like, oh boy, I wish I could do this. Okay. Um, I hate to do this, but we're going to go ahead and take our last rat away. And then we're going to... You know, I can't sort by what's going to give me the most health. Um, but definitely want... That's a lot of rads there. Definitely want some hit points here and I could take a stim pack but since I'm moving around here leisurely I would rather just eat something like squirrel on a stick that'll help me okay okay we've made it over here did our quest get updated at all meet a vet in Millwall that's it man She's right over here, I guess. Kind of uh, in that direction. Okay, so. Like I said, we will go back in there, but I'm not going to go back in there now. We'll go back in there when we're stronger. When we have better armor. When we have better... Better... Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not really firepower, but that gets the, that gets the point across. couple of telephone booths here. A ladybug. Oh, the, huh, gross. There's a ladybug in here. Uh -huh. Whoa, caution. Is it? Is it because the ladybug sees me? The ladybug isn't hostile. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, what's this? No, not the ladybug. What? Is this? What is? What is going on? Really? The ladybug is doing all this? Okay, fine. Fine, be that way. I'm not gonna waste ammo on you. I'm not wasting ammo on you, ladybug. Oh, there's a body over here. Ooh, check this out. Regret and reminiscence. Let's put this weapon away here. Get all fancy with it. Let us play Regret and Reminiscence. Private Sutton here from the 2nd London Infantry. Recording date, October 23rd, year 2077. We were stationed at the Tower of London when it happened. I can see the mushroom clouds from here. The screams. Chaos. I can't believe it's all gone. Mum, Dad, I'm sorry I never made it home. I'm so, so sorry. And to think that this recording is likely to fade away just like us, leaving behind no more than a memory in the void. Hmm. 
It's sad. Sad, sad, sad. A lot of sad stories in the world of Fallout. Is that other ladybug still over here? Hey, I'm gonna kill you out of spite. Whoa. <laughs> Completed wait for Sid to finish writing. Okay, well next time we're back at the uh, Swan and Miter, we'll check in with old S Sid. But for now, I'm gonna play this game where I walk around on my haunches and vats every now and again see if I can get the jump on whatever's trying to kill me before he gets the jump on me empty milk bottle, I don't think I need that there's a lot of stuff out here man going somewhere over there. Not sure where. Maybe this building real close to us here? It's kind of what it looks like. Time for an F5. A protect Protectron. Doesn't appear to be hostile. That's weird. Did I really see that through a wall? Syndicate Pup. Well, that didn't seem to be hostile either. Caution. Is it because of that? Not sure. Beef eater burger. Oh, there's somebody walking around over there, all right. Fragmine over there. And a syndicate pup. Huh. I thought that if they were enemies, it would show up as red. <laughs> oh, you son of a... Alsatian? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What? Yeah. Give me a break, man. I got a bloat fly coming at me? 0% chance to hit. Get closer to me. Still 0% chance. Okay, that's not the right button. Well, that sucked. I guess these things are coming at from, from out of nowhere. Where were those dogs? Get some dog meat. Mongrel dog meat. I'll take it. Maybe we'll cook it up later. Have a nice meal. Ugh. What do we got here? Some tarberry? Sure, why not? Brahmin meat? Yes, please. Aluminium can. Mushy peas. Kids meals. I mean, that's gotta be worth something. Ion brew? Let's um let's see here. Kids meal. Oh, it gives us some perception. Doesn't really heal us any. Cooking stove. Let's do a little bit of roasting. Make ourselves some crispy ladybug. And um some mutt chops. Ribeye steak. Yes, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, get our health up. Top it off. There we go. That's pretty good. We're going to stay sneaking around.
There's uh, an employee terminal. Let's use it from over here. Welcome, Beefeater Burger employee. New shipment details and Protectron control. Let's look at the new shipment details. Shipment B5A1 is en route. To ensure we provide the best product for our customers, all employees must use the correct thawing temperature settings for our brand new lineup of meat products. This is because of our new recipe and meaty formula. Have fun and remember, stay beefy, beef eaters. Protectron control. Let's see here. This interface should be used by Rob Code licensed technicians only. Improper tampering with Protectron units may lead to permanent injury. Status. Units charging slash inactive connected one unit connected to this terminal. Huh, we could choose his personality mode. Default subway steward, law enforcement, fire brigadier, medical responder, or construction worker. Let's see what default is. Okay. Do I want to release this guy? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, back out, please. Activate unit. Let's see if I regret this. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Are you going to be a friend? Will you be my friend? Okay, you seem friendly. Can we talk? Protect and survive. Protect okay. and survive. I'll take that kid's meal. Going to oh we found a body here, a farmer, a newsboy cap and worker overalls. I don't need any of those, but I'm gonna go take them. Maybe I could sell them to a vendor. You know, I mean it's worth something to somebody. I mean, speaking of which, you know, I mean, might as well take the electric stove and everything I could get. You know, and if I come to a point where I'm over encumbered, I could always just drop stuff, right? But. You know, we've come across some some vendors thus far. So, yeah, picking everything up, even if you just get a couple of tickets for each thing, it's, um, you know, it could help you buy the things that you want or need to buy. Oh, I did not see this. Check it out. Secret Cellar Entrance. Let's give it a listen. Two whoever's been tasked with delivering this message, listen closely and keep your voice down. You ain't meant to be seen around here, not by anyone at the farm. They'd set off all the alarms if they caught you. Now, if you're looking for what's hidden, you'll need to follow my instructions carefully. Behind the outhouses, there's a cluster of straw bales stacked up. Pay attention now, because there's a hatch in none of them bales. Yeah, that's right. Just push the straw aside, and you'll reveal the hatch. It's the secret entrance to our Pachin cellar. Only a few of us know about it, and we'd like to keep it that way. We got some valuable stuff in there, and we're not too keen on sharing with just anyone who stumbles upon the farm. So, use this holotape as your guide, but don't let anyone see you. If you're discreet, You'll find your way to the cellar safe and sound. Remember, stay quiet and keep this our little secret. Good luck. What kind of shelter was it? Poutine? What did he say? What did he say? I'm not sure what he said. Okay, so now we know that behind this building there is a outhouse, I believe some straw bales. We'll push those out of the way. Detected probably by the Saltron. Double cheese Brahmin burger. Is that edible? Oh. Oh my. I'm gonna look on all these tables. Just to see if there's any other good information.
Well, we know that there's a syndicate walk person walking around over there. Not too jazzed about that. Put an arrow on that vehicle. Got some crows or ravens or something here, I'm not sure which. Can't seem to open that. So, I think he said. Didn't he say there was like an outhouse behind here? Although I'm not 100% sure of what building he was talking about. Right? I don't know. Let's see here. Data. Hmm. Um, radio? No. Where are, where are, where are our holotapes? I don't know. Miscellaneous? Secret cellar entrance. To whoever's been tasked with delivering this message, listen closely and keep your voice down. You ain't meant to be seen around here, not by anyone at the farm. They'd set off all the alarms if they caught you. Now, if you're looking for what's hidden, you'll need mm. to follow my instructions carefully. Behind the outhouses, there's a cluster of straw bales stacked up. Pay attention now, because there's a hatch in none of them bales. Yeah, that's right. Just push the straw aside, and you'll reveal the hatch. It's the secret entrance to our Pachin cellar. Only a few of us know about it, and we'd like to keep it that way. We got some valuable stuff in there, and we're not too keen on sharing with just anyone who stumbles upon the farm. So, use this holotape as your guide, but don't let anyone see you. If you're discreet, you'll find your way to the cellar safe and sound. Remember, stay quiet, and keep this our little secret. Good luck. So he's talking about on the farm, and if you look at our compass, there's an icon which indicates a farm. So I'm going to guess that there's a farm right over here, and that's where we're supposed to go to find this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and make the detour because he said there's some valuable stuff over there. Maybe there'll be some stuff in there that'll help us survive. Even though right over there, got ourselves, I'm not sure what we got, syndicate pup, a couple of syndicate pups. Probably take them out pretty easily from here, but before we get into that, let's see if we could find these outhouses on this farm. Whoa, golly! <laughs> Okay, I'm still in trouble with the trolls. Oh, damn it. Why can't I hit this guy? Hit him! Freaking annoying hit him! Where are you? Stupid bloat flies? Damn. I don't even know where the other one went. I want its meat so that I could cook it. I don't know where it went. Well, oh, there's somebody or something. There's a Brahmin over there. Oh, maybe it's another vendor. A farmer. Farmer. Uh-oh. Rad chicken. Farmers, huh? Oh, gosh. I don't know if they're going to be friendly or not. Better take a little bit of health here. Going to aid. We're going to go ahead and have some beans. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we'll have, um, Crispy Ladybug. F5. Another bloat fly. 
these farmers, like I said, I have no idea whether they're going to be friendly or not. Okay. Where's the outhouse? Oh, caution. Caution. Danger. Why? Whoa, what? Who? What? Where? Wait, who? Where's the danger? Uh, I don't... Okay. Something in that direction. According to my compass. Oh, oh, he's on the move. He's on the move. Oh, he's... Getting rads. I'm not sure why. I must have walked next to something radioactive. Oh, he's a scary man. Brahmin. I mean, sure, it's not the Brahmin that was coming after me, right? Oh. oh crud, I can't climb up there. Shoot. Oh, no. Am I stuck? I don't like it here. Um, can I get out of here? Oh, now the music's all scary again. I feel I think I'm stuck, man. Oh, a fox! Oh, emerging fox! Got him. Problem it. Oh, another one? Okay, I'll just crawl out right here. Okay, they didn't hurt me too bad. Goodness. I mean, goodness. Well, at least they didn't kill me that time. Where is this outhouse? Police officer? Like an actual police officer? Really? Is he human? Kind of doesn't look like it, does he? Huh. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm intrigued. For now, I'm still trying to find this outhouse. Hay bales. What the heck? Did you see that cow jump? Did you see that? I hope you saw that. He's actually got a lot of cows over there. What do we have? We what have we here? What's this? A rad chicken. I could pickpocket the rad chicken. <laughs> it has nothing on it. Yeah. Ah. I'm taking it. You know? So as soon as I let that thing live, it's gonna come bite me in the butt. Mud shoot farm. Oh hey. A farmer. I just I just don't know whether they're gonna be friendly or not. I mean the way that guy talked on the tape, he made it sound like they were a gang. Holy cow, there's a, a lot of wheat or something here. Holy cow. Okay, I thought I would just walk through it real quickly, but apparently not. Detected farmer over there. It's 
Still having no luck finding this outhouse. He actually said behind the outhouses. That's what he said on the tape. What have we here? What's this? Hidden. Oh man, I I boy, I hate a door that you can't open. Mm, mm, mm. You wanna make me angry in a video game? Give me a door I can't open. Makes me angry. fight these farmers, but let's find out if they're friendly or not. Hello, how are you? Can we be friends? Hello. Will you be friends with me? Yeah, she didn't attack me. What's this guy got on his back? What the heck? Oh, I can't talk to him? Oh, wait, 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 wait. For a moment. What happened? Farmer. Oh, oh, oh. Talk. Listen, mate, I ain't in the mood for a staring contest. Bugger off. Okay, that's fair. Hey, you know you don't want to talk to me? Just say so. That's fine. Hey, who are you? Welcome to the arse end of London. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. I don't really understand the whole Camelot thing. But tonight's a thing of the past. Camelot thing? What? You hear about those boxing matches over in the Pilgrim? They some of the best around. Really? Okay. Boxing matches over in the Pilgrim. Well, I'm not going to steal their stuff, even though it looks like I could quite easily. You know, just like to pretend like I have morals or something. Pretend like my character has morals. Well, we found some hay bales. I see no opportunity to move them, and these don't look like latrines or outhouses anyway, but I haven't seen any any indication of what would be an outhouse. And I feel like I've explored the farm. If I go over there any further, I'm going to run into the syndicate. Hop. Hello. How are you? Need a place to stay? I've been told there's always a room over the Eastminster slums. It's in the old National Gallery. That's good to know. Thanks. Why is the lighting so weird here? Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, you're a ghoul. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. Well, well, well. I can tell you ain't one of those gentry folk. Um, I guess I'm not. I don't know. Well, these guys have some interesting things to say. Hey, what's up? Yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, could you tell me where the outhouse is? What's that device in your arm, bruv? At a what? <laughs> Well, having no luck with outhouses. I don't think those are outhouses. Like I said, I'm going to run into some syndicates if I'm not careful. See any outhouses? Some hay bales here, but I don't, I don't see any way to pick them up. And I, I'm assuming that that fence is the end of the farm.
if I walk out here, I feel as though I've left the farm. So are you friendly or not? Hey, what's up? Police officer? You have nothing to say? Seriously? Okay. Nothing to say. I must say, that's uh, it's a little disappointing. Kind of, kind of want to get, wanted to get to know the police officer a little bit. Well, now I'm just walking around randomly. I don't feel real comfortable doing that. Oh, he found a cooking stove. Let's go ahead and cook up some roast stuff. Some fox steak. Makes me a little uncomfortable. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I could make a utility something. What did I make? Oh. Some poiton, whatever this is. What the heck is poiton? Okay. Don't know what that is. I'm not familiar with that. Let's take a look at it in our inventory. Poiton. That gives us some charisma, some strength, but makes us dumb. I guess it's kind of like an alcohol. It says gin. House, guard, London. But it says McCabe's Poiton. Okay. Well, somebody tell me what that is. I've never heard of that before. I thought there was a note on the wall there. Well. Yeah. River over here. Check that out. Whoa. What the heck am I looking at over there? Something uh, floating? What the heck? All these big mushrooms over there? What in the world? Okay. then huh. well I gotta tell you I'm disappointed I'm not finding these outhouses oh no well that's sad baby carriage here oh My gosh, is a tiny skeleton. Okay. We don't need to see that. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, where'd the farm go? Farm. I have walked a good ways from the farm. So, it said behind the outhouses. When I hear outhouse, I think of... Like... Old... Toilets. Holes in the ground. But maybe here... These are considered outhouses. But... I don't see any hay behind them. Right? I don't see anything that I can seem to interact with. Well, I mean, really, the only thing left to do, in my opinion, is 
to listen to the tape one more time. So whoever's been tasked with delivering this message, listen closely and keep your voice down. You ain't meant to be seen around here, not by anyone at the farm. They'd set off all the alarms if they caught you. Now, if you're looking for what's hidden, you'll need to follow my instructions carefully. Behind the outhouses. Behind the outhouses. A straw bale stacked up. Uh huh. Pay attention now, because there's a hatch in none of them bales. Yeah, that's right. Just push the straw aside, and you'll reveal the hatch. It's the secret entrance to our machine cellar. Only a few of us know about it, and we'd like to keep it that way. We got some valuable stuff in there, and we're not too keen on sharing with just anyone who stumbles upon the farm. So, use this holotape as your guide, but don't let anyone see you. If you're discreet, you'll find your way to the cellar safe and sound. Remember, stay quiet and keep this our little secret. Good luck. Well... I don't know where these outhouses are. I don't know where these straw bales are. I got nothing. Yeah, I, I got nothing, man. I don't know. I don't see anything. I see no straw bales to push around. I see no outhouses to look behind. I mean, unless they're like somewhere in this tall grass that I'm just supposed to be like luckily stumble upon but I don't know there's more farmers and more rad chickens alright well beats the heck out of me man uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here when we come back next time we will um, go ahead and walk over to where uh, we believe Yvette, is it Yvette that we're looking for? Yeah, we'll go over and walk over to where we believe Yvette is. And, um, we'll see where that takes us. Well, thanks for joining me on this episode. This episode. I hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Let me, leave me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post new episodes. Thanks for watching. I hope you join me again in the next episode.